I have so many um, great hydrowave stories of you know individual times where you're you know you're going down the bank and you come by a boat dock or a lay down or something and, and you know the, the hydrowave sound is playing and all of a sudden the bass just comes out of that cover comes up school and, and I throw over there and catch it I mean it, it happens it's happened to me hundreds of times one time uh, that really stands out in my mind where that just really opened my eyes as we were fishing at Lake Louisville for a Bassmaster event down there It was one of uh, one of the majors that we had a few years back and I pulled up on this road bed uh, That was about 20 feet deep and it was June water was warm and I had marked a bunch of shad and a bunch of predator I mean a bunch of big bass big arches there and I'm like man there has got to be uh, a, a mega school here. I mean I could see them on the graph and they were just hanging right on the end of this roadbed where there was a blown out bridge. And I, I threw a spinnerbait out there and I didn't get any bites. I threw a big crankbait out there and it was about 20 foot deep. And I, and I didn't get any bites at all. And I, and I thought, you know, let me see what I can do with my hydrowave. So I, I turned on a schooling pattern on my hydrowave and I was literally right over the top and I could watch the fish on my depth finder screen. They were right down there, right on that break of the creek channel and that lip. And I could see them come up to the top. And I had about two acres of the biggest white bass that I've ever been around come up and start schooling all around my boat. They were actually busting shad off the side of my boat. The shad were right there all around my trolling motor. I was just sitting out there. There was no wind, just drifting like that. And I had the most incredible experience of watching this unit pull all of those predators and all that bait right up off the structure and just go crazy around me. It lasted about 10 or 15 minutes. I caught a bunch of them. They averaged about two and a half to three pounds a piece. So, you know, was it bass? Did it help me win the tournament? No, but I saw how important that predator prey relationship was and what the hydrowave can do to trigger that instinct between them to make that action happen out there on the water.